Hello friends, after receiving huge response from view on Twitter like follow unfollow system by using PHP script Ajax. We have decided to add, some more feature tutorial, in this tutorial, there are some views has requested us. To add search user feature in the system, and after search user, other user can see, all post of particular user on single page, with follower of that user. So, here we have add this feature in this, Ajax based follow unfollow system, and by using this feature, user can search other user in the system. Now let's start discussing this new feature, we have divided this feature tutorial, in three part, in first part we will see how to implement, live search user feature in this system. After search user, in second part, we will covered, how other user see all post will display on single page, and in third part, we will covered, how to display that user followers list also, with follow button. Now here we have start discussing, implement search user feature, so here we have use bootstrap type head plugin for live search user. For implement this feature, first we have copy this all javascript code of index page, and paste into newly created jQuery.php file, because this code we want to use on another page also. After this, we have go to index page, and here we have write include statement, with jQuery.php file, so all code of this jQuery.php file, will be added into index.php file. Now we have go to menu.php file, and here we have write, input type is equal to text, name, and id is equal to, search user, placeholder is equal to search user, so by entering username from this text box, user can search other user. Now we have moved to write jQuery code, so here we have write, dollar with text box id search user, with type ahead method, this method will initialize type ahead plugin. So, when user has start type under text box, then this block of code will execute, and here we have write source callback function, with two argument like query and result variable. Under this function, we have write, dollar with class name type ahead, with CSS method, with two argument like position property set to absolute. Below this, we have write action variable is equal to, search user, this variable value, we will add server script. Now we have start write ajax request, and in this we have write first option, url set to action.php file, it will send request to this file. In second option, we have write, method and under this we have write post, it will use post method for send data to server. In this option, we have write data, in this option, we can define which data, we want send to server, so here we have send query variable, and action variable data to server. In fourth option, we can write data type and here we have defined JSON, that means from server it will receive data in JSON format. In Ajax request, 
Lastly we have write success callback function, and this function has been called if request completed successfully, and it will receive data from server. Under this function, we have write result method and, under this we have write dollar dot map method, with two argument like data variable, and callback function. Under this callback function, we have write return statement with item variable, it will fill query result in live search result. Now, we have moved to action.php, and here we have write, if statement, with condition like dollar post action variable, value is equal to search user, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar query variable is equal to select username, profile image from Twitter user, where username like dollar post variable and user ID is not equal to dollar session user ID variable. This select query will search user query in Twitter user table and it will not check login user data. Below, this query, we have write dollar statement variable, is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement, with dollar query variable. It will make query for execution, so for query execution, we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, it will execute select query. After query execution, we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method, it will return query execution result. After this, we have write for each loop, and under condition, we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable, it will fetch data from dollar result variable. Under this loop, we have write dollar data variable is equal to dollar row username variable, it will store username data under this dollar data variable in array format. Now we want to send this data to Ajax request in JSON format, so here we have write, echo statement with JSON encode method, and under this we have write dollar data variable. It will convert data into JSON format, and send to Ajax request. So here our code is ready for live user search feature code is ready, now we have check output in browser. Friends, first we have login as username John Smith and in password field we have enter password, and click on login button, so system has redirect us to index page. Here we have divided index page JavaScript code, in jQuery.php file. Now here, we can see one text box has been appear on header of the page, this text box is a search bar of this follow unfollow system. Now we have go to search bar, and type some character, and after type it has live search username, in which name that character has come, and it has list here below in text box. Here we can see, Login username name is not appear, because in search query, we have right condition for login user's username will not appear in search result. By user this live search feature, user can search other user on this system, for this search feature here we have used type ahead plugin. Now in next part, we will discuss, 
click on this username search result, and go to web page, on which we can see all post of that user, on which username we have clicked. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.